everyone welcome to my channel today I'm going to do a very quick video I want to show you something that just arrived in the mail this is the Peter Paper press journal it's called mystic moon it is absolutely stunning it's called the mystic moon journal it's 160 pages of lined paper uh, at 120 GSM so it's gonna be great for uh, different types of pens, fountain pens, a little bit of watercolor work probably. And I think it would make an excellent tarot journal or even a book of shadows if you like the size. Now what's special about this and the reason why I want to showcase it is because it is actually the art is from Terry Foss, who is the creator of the Earthly Souls and Spirits Oracle. Now this deck, if you haven't seen it, please go check out, check it out. Check out her Etsy shop, although she doesn't have the deck on there anymore, she has beautiful art just like this uh, available to be purchased. I do believe you can still buy her deck through her link at makeplaincards.com, but of course you have to pay the extra shipping from China and, you know, because I, I do believe that printer is in China, um, which can add up and frankly, you know, I still need to pick up this deck. I really, really want it, so I will probably figure it out. I mean, it's possible it could come to mass market. I think there was like a hint of it somewhere on a YouTube comment by her a while back, but that nothing's really come with that and it's not actually on any of the catalogs for 2021. So I might just bite the bullet and get it from makeplaincards.com, we'll, we'll see. But I really love her art. I mean, you can see here how gorgeous it is. Now there's one thing I want to show you that is kind of hard to see, but Around the moon, there was actually little dots of gold. At just the right angle, you can kind of see it. It kind of glitters a bit. I don't know if, it, if you can see it in this video or not. In any case, I urge you to check this out at Peter Paper Press um, at their website or Barnes Noble, wherever you can find these journals usually. And just like the typical journals from this printer. You get the gilded edges, gorgeous. It's really nice quality. You know, the inside is a gorgeous purple. And you do have this, this is a, a little bit smaller than A5, a little bit bigger than A6. So probably, I mean, it's then what? It's probably a B6? I'm not quite sure. I will show you the measurements of them, but you know, it's gorgeous paper. Beautiful margins. I do believe that this is probably six millimeter, but you know, the lines are not too wide, which is something I hate in journals. When you know, the margins are big and then you have super wide lines as well. And then you get this little pocket in the back where you can put whatever you want. I mean, it seems like, honestly, this would be a great book of shadows, I think, if you're not going the leather bound route. Um, Although I do wish it was A5 for that, but I mean, I'm gonna use this one as a tarot journal and I suspect possibly maybe a specific book of shadows for the other one. Um, maybe studying some more moon phases or just, you know, more probably not use this as like a main one because it is only 160 pages, um, which I don't see that being enough for a book of shadows. I kind of already have one also, but this will definitely be great. Maybe I will put my rituals in here that I've completed. Make it like, um, like everything witchy kind of journal instead. I'm gonna have one that's tarot. And then what I'll probably do is just label the spine. Use like a, a Sharpie or something and label the spine with what this journal is in year to separate out these two. But these are gorgeous. I would be so happy if they actually put more of her artwork on the journal covers because it is so gorgeous. If you guys haven't checked her out, check her out on Etsy. I will have the link below. Uh, Terry Foss creates some super, super beautiful art. Even if you're not into tarot, you can check out her art pieces on her Etsy shop. And honestly, you know, if budget wasn't a concern, I would buy all her prints because they're so gorgeous. And hopefully I will get the deck this year. If not, I mean, it is definitely in the top five. Um, of my wish, uh, my wish list, and Terry Foss is definitely one of my favorite uh, artists that does anything, you know, tarot or oracle related. So anyway, check her out, and if you find this in your local Barnes and Nobles, give it a shot. 
Um, and honestly, it's really hard to see on camera, but there's little like gold dots all over that when the light hits it just right, you know, kind of really shines. It's quite gorgeous. And I actually need a full size print of this on my wall, please. <laughs> anyway, check her out if you get a chance. And thank you for checking out this video. Like, uh, hit subscribe, all that stuff if you like my videos. And I'm still quite new to this, so give me some feedback uh, if you feel like it. And stick around for more videos. I think next I will try to do the Tarot Renard. I'll walk through of that probably soon now that I have my camera set up. Honestly, we had moved last year and I just completely misplaced my tripod and had to do a completely scotch first video, which in hindsight was a bad idea. But now that I kind of have, you know, somewhat of a better setup, I think that will, I'll be doing a few more walkthrough videos. Because I definitely want to do the Tarot Renard. And I'm probably the Tarot of the Abyss when it comes in. I know other people have done videos as well, but you know, this is just kind of fun. It's kind of for me. And just, you know, getting used to talking on camera and just, uh, I don't know, just sharing some of the things I love with you guys. So I hope you enjoyed and thank you for checking my channel out.